Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Martinez with Martinez Art Lab. Today we're going to do a line challenge using Google Drawings. So right now I'm in my Gmail account and I'm going to click in the upper right corner of the waffle grid and I'm going to get to my Google Drive. When I click on my Google Drive, I've got, this is what I'm going to see. I use Google, I use Google all the time. So you're seeing a lot of files from me. But the most important thing for you is this plus sign icon with the word new in the upper left corner. You'll click on that and then click on more and then go to Google Drawings. Click on Google Drawings. The best part about doing this video is you can pause it, you can rewind it as you need to. So if I'm talking too quick or you miss something, you can rewind it and catch up. So once I've clicked on Google Drawings, this is the, I just made a new document in Google Drawings. Um, the very first thing I'm going to do is double click on my untitled drawing. And I'm going to type the name of the project. So this is our line challenge. And then I'm going to type my whole name. This is how I know who you are and this is how you'll be able to find your file. And this file automatically saves itself and it will be found in Google Drive. So in your Google Drive back here. So these are the documents that I've made um, and you'll be able to get to your Google Drive and see Line Challenge Mrs. Martinez in there. Okay, um, so we've got the name and I just kind of click to the side and for your line challenge, your goal is to make at least 100 lines and you're going to make as many different kinds of lines as you can. So you're going to make different sizes of lines, you're going to make different colors of lines and you're going to make different styles of lines. And also don't forget different directions of lines. So our line tool is right here. Whenever I'm unsure of a tool, if I take my mouse and I put my mouse and just kind of hover it there for a couple seconds, it'll tell me the name. So this is a line tool. Let's go ahead and use this tool right now. So I'll click on it. I'll make one click and that gives me a line. And when I've got this black arrow selected, that's my selection tool, I can go right over these circle lines and I can left click and drag it to make it bigger. Or I can left click any of these circles, left click and drag it to move the direction. So I was holding down my left click. So I can move the direction, I can make it smaller, I could make it longer, whatever I wanna do to change my line. So that's how I can make my line and make different lengths of my line and different directions. And now I'm gonna show you the color. So remember, if I accidentally click, just kind of off to the side, here's my line, okay? So now I need to make sure that my line, um, any changes I make, I've got my line selected. So this black arrow is your selection tool and I just click right on it. So as long as it's highlighted in that blue with the box around it, I've got it selected. The way you're going to change the colors is this tool that looks like a little pencil. And when I hover over it, you can see it says line color. When I click on that, right now it's black and that check, that check in that black circle tells me it's black. And I'm gonna make it hot pink. And now if I, you see the line, the color changed up here. And if I just click over to the side, I can see my pink line. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more thing that you can do with your line. So make sure my select tool is selected the line. So I know how to change the color, I know how to change the size and the direction, but now I wanna change the thickness. So right now it's a really thin line. If I hover over this icon, this is for the line weight. So it's gonna make it either really skinny or really thick. So if I click on this, and I click on, right now it's on one. If I click on eight, it's gonna make it a lot thicker. So I'm gonna click to the side so you can see the changes I've made with my line. So when you make your line challenge, we have to fit 100 lines into this, into this rectangle of our um, project. So I might kind of move this line aside. You can decide if you want your own pattern. You can decide how you're going to arrange your lines. You can decide whatever you wanna do on here. 
Um, but what I don't want you to do is come in here and just kind of scribble all over. We're not gonna do that. We need to be able to see 100 lines, okay? Um, so right now I just showed you the line tool. If I click on this arrow, it's going to give me all different kinds of lines that I can draw. And speaking of scribbling, there's a scribble tool. So let's click on that. And if I left click and I'm holding down my left click, I've just scribbled a line. You can absolutely scribble some lines, but what I do not want you to do is do this. We are not going to do that, okay? Um, so if we're not gonna do that, I need to get rid of this, right? I made a mistake, I need to delete it. So this back arrow undoes whatever I just did. So I'm gonna click it and it takes that away. I do like this line though. So I'm gonna click my select tool and I've got it selected and I'm gonna change a couple things now. First, I want to move it and make it a little bit different. So all of these boxes will help me move it. So if I move a corner box, I'm left clicking and holding that click down. If I left click and hold that down, it kind of stretches my line out. So I can do a lot of different things. If I go to this circle and I left click and I'm holding it down, it'll change the direction of my line. And if I do something I don't like, I can always go to undo and it'll take it back, okay? But I did like that, so I'm gonna move it back. Okay, I got it, and now I'm gonna change the color. Um, right now it's black, I'm gonna make it, how about a lime green? And then I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker. Let's make it 16, so it's really thick, and now I can move it. The way I move my line is when I take my mouse and I put it right over my line, I see these four arrows, they look kind of like a compass. When I left click and drag with that compass, that's what makes my lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and start making some lines. Um, let's, I'm gonna try a couple different kinds. This is a curve line. So I'm gonna click once, click twice, click three times, Click four times. Every time I make a click, it curves my line. Okay, so you can really experiment with lines. When I'm done making my line, I'm gonna double click, and that ends my line. I'll change it a different color. I'm gonna make the thickness a little thicker, and I'm gonna use my selection tool to change the size a little, because I wanna stretch it out, okay? Um, so you can kind of play around with that. This project ends up being really fun. Um, so I want you to experiment and have fun when you're doing this. And you can just kind of move all your lines around. Um, I've shown you the line tool, the scribble tool, and the curve tool. The polyline tool makes straight zigzag lines. I'm double clicking to end the line and then I'll change the color. Let's make it red. And I'm making these lines a lot thicker because I want you to really be able to see these. You don't have to, or you can mix them up and have thick and thin lines. I've gotta go to my select tool. I wanna make it really tall and skinny. So I'm gonna squish it together, just like that. Okay, so right now I've got these four really different lines. Um, but I know that I wanna fit 100 lines in here, so maybe I should start making them a little smaller, okay? All right, so my lines, um, and I'm just gonna start making some lines. You can repeat your lines just like I did. I just copied one line, and then I pasted it to repeat it because it makes kind of a cool pattern, um, and you could do that I don't want you to fill up your whole paper with the same line though, so don't do it too much. Um, you might be able to, if I copy this, and then I paste it, so I've got a second line, but I can also kind of change it up so it looks kind of the same, but not. I copy that one, so it's a way that I can kind of make these lines a little bit easier and then it's it's a little quicker for me to change my options so my colors and my styles so I'm gonna finish mine up and I'm going to so we can see the end here 
So let me keep working. Overlap if you want them to, but if they're overlapping, you do not want them to look like a scribble. So in other words, change the weight of the line. So whether it's thick or thin, change the style of the line, change the colors of the line. That's what's gonna allow us to see the different kinds of lines that we're making. Okay, so we filled up our paper. Um, I don't have quite a hundred lines, so I need to keep going and keep making my lines. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them in the classroom and have fun making your hundred line challenge.